<laughs> this is the best Reddit we've had in a while. Am I a star seed? So five or six different people messaged me being like, you have to check this out. And me and Danny did a deep dive on star. This seed. is, by the way, if you ever go to a fucking fish or Grateful Dead concert, these they're are they're all star seeds, a lot of star seeds. So star seeds, if you want to know what they are, star seeds are highly advanced spiritual beings and souls that originated from distant planets, solar systems and galaxies, typically far from Earth. So it's kind of women are from Venus. Right. Yeah. But they've made a thing where they go. I'm just like, you know, I'm just like a wacky old soul. They've decided that, well, the thing about me is I was actually a soul from a different galaxy that was sent here mm -hmm. and I don't even belong here. Yeah. And they said there's 77 million star seeds on earth right now. So it's, and, they, and they go, can you believe it's work? only that low? And they go, okay, quite a few star seeds. Let me guess. None of them are in China. No, all the star seeds. Yeah, yeah. Are in how San many uh, stars? Yeah, how many star seeds are in like the Middle East? Oh, zero. That's weird. They're all in Portland. How many are in Africa? Zero. Weird. It's crazy. There's no crazy star seeds that there's there. no yeah. star seeds at well, all. Well, they would argue that they An probably don't know continent. that they're star seeds. Oh, okay. I guess, Fair right? Enough. Yeah. Because you know, I'm not. Well, then, how did they get the number? I guess they was it was beamed to them. They go. <laughs> there's 77 million of your brothers and sisters on Earth. Go find them. I have no idea how they got that number. That's a pretty good point. Where are they coming up with their star seed statistics? I guess maybe they take Portland and then they have how many people self-identify as star seeds. <laughs> they, they times that number by yeah, the population makes, of the world. Yeah. So these evolved souls carry a multitude of wisdom within, along with special abilities and gifts. So this is it's kind of a girl being like, he's like, why are you fucking doing all this stuff? It's like, well, yeah, I'm from a different planet. So, yeah, I'm not going to fit into your system. You know what I mean? Hey, could you clean up the house? You go, yeah, well, you're, as they're grumbling, like on my planet. Yeah. You know, <laughs> You wouldn't fucking dare tell me that on my fucking planet. Yeah, you wouldn't have the nerve to tell me if it was on my <laughs> home planet. <laughs> hey, uh, you've been dragging dirt all over the floor. You go, yeah, well, I'm more I'm for, we don't even have floors. Yeah, so fucking everything's dirt there, so. Fuck. <laughs> hey, uh, could you, <laughs> you don't know how to use this computer program very good, eh? Or at the, your job, you're like, hey, we really need you to learn this. It's like a fucking, <laughs> this prehistoric program. Yeah. Pro We're using light beams. <laughs> Actually, I come from so. Yeah, these it's like people, me playing Pong right now. Yeah, these people don't work. These evolved souls carry a multitude of wisdom. It's estimated there's 78 million here on Earth, less than 1% of the of Earth's population. So about, you know, 1 in 150 people is a starseeds kind of situation. Within the small number, though, they are believed to be more than 19 different types of starseed and starseed beings. So there's starseeds right and left compared to, according to these people. And then, so this is the article I'm reading about what starseeds, then we'll go through some of the starseeds yeah. comments. But... So we have to find out if me and Danny are starseeds because they give you a test to find out if you're starseeds. I've been to a fish concert. I'm not a starseed. You don't think you're a starseed? No. According to this test, every basically anyone who takes the test is a starseed. Oh, okay. As the ones that <laughs> the I The test can, is incredible. Generally, you can tell just by looking at someone if they're a starseed. Do you ever feel like you don't even belong on this planet? Yeah. <laughs> That's, it's all that kind yeah. of stuff, right? Okay. So have you ever experienced homesickness? Not really, no. Okay. Well, either have I really... But if you experience, oh, you never to Toronto, you've never kind of missed being missed. Toronto I like going all. back. You never missed it. You never missed but your not, friends in Toronto or family in Toronto or anything like that. Um, but not home life in Toronto not homesick. Is, no, uh, no, no, really. I'm not like homesick. I've been like, hey, well, you're not sick. Like, uh, well, some people are like fucking crying in tears, being like, I want to go home. I miss my mom. That's how I define homesickness. I'm like, I want to go home. I hate this. The only time I've ever felt that probably is if I'm really, really cold. Like, let's say you agree to go, like, snowshoeing or something like that, and you're, like, two miles into the forest, and it just gets so cold and windy, and you're just like, yeah, I think I'm home. This is what homesickness is, because I don't like being out here. Yeah, yeah, That's Something like that. Close. Okay, so if anyone who feels homesick So Ryan's a, a bit of a more of a starseed than me. <laughs> I guess I'm, I'm more of a starseed. Check well, you're Ryan. The, it sounds like you're the complete opposite of a starseed, where you're just, like, I'm basically a robot that was designed yeah. here. I am. Yeah. Okay, so if you love extraterrestrial shows and programming, you ever listen to Aliens? Uh, I like Aliens? Coast to Coast. Do you like Aliens vs. Predators? The no, movie? No. Okay. I haven't seen it. I like Coast to Coast. What though. about the Jetsons? Did you like that? No. Okay. I like Coast what to about Coast. The, Coast to Coast. What about Ghostbusters? Did you like Ghostbusters? Uh, I had when I was six years old. I had the plastic Ghostbusters backpack. Starseed. The, uh, yeah. <laughs> Starseed. Starseed. Busted. Busted. So if you love extraterrestrial shows and programming, you might be a starseed. So that's why it's like you're basically watching, you know, uh, you never watched uh, X-Files or anything like that? Uh, a little oh, bit. Mr. Star bit. Uh, Mr. Oh, Mr. Star not Star super, you're not super into it, but I like X-Files. So. Mm. I saw some episodes. But more yeah. importantly, I watched Coast to Coast, which is like the 
listen to Coast to Coast. They talk about that show all the time. So now we find out that Danny is a star seed, and they I'm said, a, I'm a, I'm a star seed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, what's I can't think of a good star song. Do, do I mean, I just seeds? did the best one. So. What's that one? Uh, the weekend. Oh, that's I'm a star seed. Wait, he has a song called I'm a no, star, star boy, but I'm uh, a star seed. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not coming up with anything good. <laughs> Nothing coming. I kind of got the best one. <laughs> You kind of nailed it. <laughs> that's this a real starseed move of you to have the best starseed. Uh, beat me down the best song. <laughs> beat me down. I'm a, a, a starseed. <laughs> done and done. Okay. Um, if you're uh, empathetic, so do you find yourself having empathy, or do you like to see animals getting tortured? Uh, I guess I could be empathetic. Oh, yeah. Two for three on the star seed uh -oh. chart right now. Uh oh. So <laughs> this is this chart where they make girls do a survey. They go, "Are you consider yourself empathetic?" Yeah, this is Scientology for women, right? Here. They go, hey, we just fill out the thing. You're you a star These are really vague. If you're empathetic, you might be a star. Are they vague? They seem pretty specific. If actually. you if you're empathetic <laughs> and sometimes feel homesick. You might be a star seed. Oh, this is the, no, the freedom this, seeker. Of course. So if you're a freedom seeker, I'm a freedom seeker. Did you did you love ma vax mandates or did you not? Were I you love sort of against them. them? <laughs> love freedom. <laughs> he doesn't want to be called a star seed. But the um, this is funny one because it almost puts a little bit of a damper because obviously this stuff was sort of old school hippie freedom. I'm just like a free gal, you know. Yeah. I don't want to be locked down to. A job, for example, right? Yeah. And then you'd say to them, you'd be like, oh, so you agree that maybe the vax mainates are in the... No. Oh, no, I like the vax mainates. And you go, oh, I guess you're just not a no, star seed. No, but that's the whole thing. That was the bizarre thing about this all. I was know. that It was the fucking the hippies and the the right-wing people were like, right. we agree because of But some of this. hippies... Yes, but hippies were at a crossroads where they had to decide whether they became, you know, kind of a freedom person or they became like a, a government-loving hippie. Yeah, but they... <laughs> They weren't though. That's what I'm saying. Th that's Some of them went. That's how way. so many like went so right. Like, do you think most deadheads were all all like pretty? They, I'm sure some of them got vax because they're just like for whatever reason. But I'm sure they're not like, yeah, we need to fucking. I mean, some of them for sure were. Gotcha. But there's like the real hippies were like, you know, well, anti-vax. Okay, begin but with. there's also like the live, laugh, love people that would be into be calling themselves star seeds. And it's just funny yeah, saying yeah, they'll yeah. never. They're not a star seed because they don't have freedom. People. That's true. Um. You've had a triggering major trauma life event, which doesn't even make sense. Why would that make you a star seed that, you know, well, like I was beat up when I was well, younger? Well, if you're a woman, then you've had many of those just by design. Well, yep, I guess Being so, alive. Right? But yeah, you're right. This is like some fortune teller bullshit. Where it's it's like, oh, it's cold reading like, uh, dude. Oh, your intuition is strong. Like, again, like you're intelligent and love learning. So you like so, holistic So when remedies. someone goes, no, I'm not intelligent. I hate <laughs> learning. Yeah. It's like there's no... Uh, there's no uh, Option of a different age. You like babies, children, and animals, or and they like you back. So yeah. girls are star seeds. You're fascinated with astrology. You're you're uh, into conspiracy theories. So that's another one where you'd have to say your average live love lo live laugh love girl isn't a star seed anymore. Yeah, they're not star seeds. You're vegetarian or vegan. You feel drawn to crystals and you read about star seeds. This so is we just well like, we just read about it. So dude, go to a lot of a fish show or something or like Bonnaroo. Some shit. <laughs> this is fucking. There's a million of these. There might be 77 million, actually, now that you say it. <laughs> 77 million stars. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that'd be uh, fun to have, have your uh, significant other believe that she's from a different planet. <laughs> Weird that do they have dreadlocks on here? Nasty dreadlocks? You, you sport nasty Or do you get them after you non realize? Non traditional hairstyles. Or do you yeah. get them after you realize that you're a star Yeah, after seed. you realize you're a star seed. It's that. Yeah. Earth is the only place where you get sent to a mental... So this is a Reddit thread. So this person has a bit of a beef that she's airing out to some of the <laughs> other star sword. Earth is, is the one. only place where you can get sent to a mental hospital for having psychic powers, and you're a star seed. So this person's in a mental hospital right now tweeting. They don't even realize that I'm a star seed. I know. Because then I have my it's psychic funny, too, because you go, hey, they gave you 20 uh, opportunities to just prove your psychic powers if you could just... Jesus, yeah. I can't do it on command I like that. My, it's not on command. Yeah, it's not, ugh, it's not on command. She's so in just the, do some She's in thing. the courtroom and she's like, ma'am, if you uh, do you really believe that you're from a different planet or, you know, your family's getting worried? Uh, they want to lock you up at least have to have, you know, for a couple days. And then she goes, well, how about you? I'll see you in spring. <laughs> ah, shit. So okay. Uh, that yeah, might be a little rusty right like, now. Uh, why don't you make that uh, cup move over there? And she's like, Fuck. 
And then she goes, yeah, well, I already know you're going to send me into mental prison because I have starseed abilities. So, Can you really be in prison, though? You know, it'd be good if you could convince girls that you're a starseed that are starseeds and be like, I'm getting a message from the other world that says I'm going to get blown by you. What the <laughs> fuck? Do you know what that means? Oh. I, I'm not really. A, I'm new with my starseed thing. Have you ever had something like that where you just saw an image of me getting blown over behind the porta potty? She goes, I don't believe concert? it. He goes, no, no, no. It's saying uh, you're going to want to stick a crystal up my ass while you're doing it. It's. <laughs> She goes, oh, that sounds pretty legit. I don't know. Are you familiar with this Starseed thing? Because I'm getting like a bit of a vision of uh, tonight you convincing three of your Starseed buddies to blow me back to back. Does that, <laughs> does that mean anything to you? Sorry, I blacked out. Did I say anything? What happened? I don't know. What planet What planet are you from? And they're like, uh, you know, Zoctagon. And you go, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Stop it. I was also from... My dad was from Zoctagon. Holy shit. You're, you're kidding me. You're also from Zoctagon? Yeah. I thought I was the only person. <laughs> I've never met another person from Zoctagon. Z- unzip. Zip. Please open. So these are the kind of things that this, this person's getting into. She's going to jail. Uh, then another person says, Are we, starseeds brackets, basically angels and demons that decided to incarnate as humans? So a lot of them don't know whether they're sort of from a different planet or they're angels and humans from a different realm, sort it's of. It's funny, too, because like you could tolerate a female starseed. I've met many, but the guys are absolutely insufferable. <sighs> the guys stink more? Oh, the worst. Because girls' starseeds is kind of just like hippie girl shit that you're, you know, kind yeah, of comes with you know, every whatever. little. And what are the guys' starseeds do that are more annoying? Uh, uh, wandering around so like just it, i mean it's just i think a, just a generally kind are those of kind of the guys that do the weird dances yeah there was a guy a fish this is a perfect example when i saw a fish in madison square garden and everybody in like the pit was dancing they're just like whatever dancing around enjoying and then he was watching fucking fish for i'm not even kidding i kept looking at him for an hour like this he was going he had his hands up in the he, air he was receiving the music <laughs> he had his hands open palms was, receiving it was, <laughs> trace trace sing to me it was like having a religious experience. <laughs> he was receiving it. <laughs> oh, yeah, that'd be it. There's so many times where I go. He to- might be sending it back to his other world so they can experience. Maybe he's like and an antenna. Because they're he's like, this is probably why they sent me here to get this message. He to goes, send I'm back. an antenna for fucking Zorg Octagon <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> Zorg Octagon. But like everybody was fucking dancing. He's just like, <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. Uh, <laughs> receiving the music. It was. Good. It was what he was doing. He was, I just, I'm a vessel for the music. Right. Just receiving. Just receive it and give it back down to the earth. <laughs> yeah, so you're saying, okay, I, I can understand why you think guy star seeds might yeah. be a little more annoying. This person says, I had a dream one night after I jerked off. So this is a guy star seed yeah. and a reptilian devil wizard. All, all the guy star seed stuff's about them coming. Oh, yeah, it's all come based. All the guys. 100% come All the guy star seeds about them fucking. Get. <laughs> and a reptile devil lizard woman came to me and told me that star seeds are demon seeds and she was naked and had my sperm on her breasts. She stole the sperm and said, if you masturbate, you leave the seed on the ground or better ground. Demons will come and get it and use it to make evil spiritual larva and astral parasites that they attach to people. So is it that? Is it? <laughs> that's the question. After all, <laughs> the question is like, so do you guys think that's what we are? Anyone else experience this? <laughs> Pretty specific, dude. right? Yeah, pretty specific, right? So, uh, what do you think, guys? Is that what we are? <laughs> and the other, the other girls are like, <laughs> what's it? What's a grateful thing? No, 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 there was that one, yeah, Burt Nielsen, Van, Burt Nielsen Van was the one that I liked, and then uh, Martin Medeski Wood's my yeah, favorite yeah, jam band. Yeah, yeah, there's all Jazz funk. I thought Martin Medeski Wood was the best jazz funk Yeah, string, band. string cheese, too. Good. Yeah, and then do boop boop do 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 do. But so all the other star seeds are there and being yeah, like yeah. star seeds. I'm just feel the embassy and I'm in touch with children <laughs> and just the natural animals love me. Animals love Birds me. come to me <laughs> yeah. and they all fly and they yeah, yeah. land on your arms. Birds come to me. Just the holistic remedies and the other guys <laughs> like. Hey, I got some uh, demon angel woman that I just cummed <laughs> on her tits. I'm thinking that's kind of being a big part about being a star seed, right? <laughs> <laughs> There's this fucking cum do, everywhere. Do, 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 do. That's so funny. That is what, that's what Star Seeds are doing. Do, 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 do. 
Hey, I just, guys, fucking stop the music. I just cummed on an angel from her tits everywhere. Yeah, that guy runs and he's yelling and screaming at everyone, like the town crier trying yeah. to get everyone's attention, but they're too wrapped up yeah, in the music. Just, they're ah, just, man, I'm just this devil woman. Yo, you, you chill out, man. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I actually enjoy just feel the vibes, bro. That's the thing because I'm like, I, they I put, like, just someone just puts an acid tab in his mouth and closes his mouth for him. <laughs> it's funny because like I like the music, but then I kind of hate the scene. So then nah, I kind of love the scene. No, but I don't hate the You're scene. You're a star scene. <laughs> but I I do get a lot of enjoyment when I go to these shows because there's so much shit to just like that I can just laugh at. I, I love stuff like that too. But yeah. I do like the music. But then I see all the stuff. I go, oh, that's hilarious. Well, that's how I feel about like protests or any any yeah. big gathering. With thousands of people, I spend half my time people watching. Exactly, yeah. So I, was, uh, <laughs> I had a buddy that was uh, sold uh, he- the helium things at, at festivals. Like, he used to go to sneak into... Oh, uh, Nitrous. Dead. Nitrous. Yeah, he used to sell the balloons in the oh, parking fuck, lot. Yeah, oh, man, that's the funniest. <laughs> man, <laughs> you leave a fucking Grateful Dead concert at, like, Madison Square Garden or Fish, and they're all, like, the run... Because the cops are trying to break them up, and it's a weird game of cat balloons. and mouse. And then you see all these guys are, like... Fucking up against a wall with oh, like yeah. eight balloons. Crackhead thing, they're like, yeah. They're like shaking. But it only lasts for three minutes. Or yeah, or less. And they're just like, and, they're like, and you're like, are you okay? And they're like, yeah. yeah. I'm a star seed. I'm a star seed. <laughs> Man, it's just all about empathy. And I'm, do you feel the waves? You feel the Earth's <laughs> gravitational boom. <laughs> I just cummed in this bitch's <laughs> eyes and she's got devil horns on. Stop everywhere music. and there was blood. <laughs> and she's blood. And she said that she's gonna use my <laughs> sperm to attach to people to turn them into devils. What do you guys think? He's getting bumped around in the pit by the people. By the way, number one most upvoted comment to this thing is what the fuck stop it yeah look so at the yeah. star seed said no so this guy had this crazy thing and he goes and the because he uh the last thing he goes many people that you meet in the physical world if you have dreams of them in sp- in the spirit or astral plane you can see their real form or their spiritual form and they may even look remotely human either they are demonically possessed demonically oppressed or perhaps they are star seeds oh, the w- demons that are op- the oppressed demons the oppressed demon. he goes one woman in israel who is the great granddaughter of the great kabbalist was a queen in the spiritual realm and she queen. has all this nonsense and then just the f- Number one comment. What the fuck? <laughs> Most upvoted comment. All right. So this guy is definitely and not from, a star seed. And it was from someone whose thing is Astral Traveler. So this guy's in the way. He's like, in the game. Yeah. He goes, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? Astral Traveler's not good. <laughs> Astral, Astral Traveler, Traveler has no, no, no wants none of this. None of this. No, he's ma- you're making us look bad. Well, this next person says, is loss of uh, loss of interest in food an ascension symptom? So a big part of it is they think that Eventually, they're going to ascend yeah. to their old planet, right? Like they were just sent down here to send a message, and then they're going to go. So, a lot of times when they're boom, do, 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 <laughs> Maybe that's the guy who's receiving the music. He was no, he's trying like, to get sent up back yeah, to yeah, his yeah, old he, planet. Exactly. He goes, Come on, come on. Beam me up. He like opens one. I'm eye. ready. Yeah, yeah. He goes, I'm ready. Oh. Yeah, so any t- that's a problem. It's like the Haley's Bop, Haley Comp, the if Heaven's Gate. Yeah, that's what they thought was going to happen to them when they drank all the Kool Aid and fucking with the Nikes. That's that's the classic cold business, yeah. right? You go, you think you're going to ascend. You could probably that any girl that thinks she's going to ascend, you could convince to do anything. You know what I mean? Yeah. You go, you know what? We need to expedite your ascension. Let's try some shit. Yeah, you know, what if we bring five drink girls some here? Rat poison. What if we bring five different girls into our relate? You you round me up five girls, and the five of you all have sex with me, and then uh, we'll see if that God likes that as an offering. Yeah. We're yeah, really man. doing it for him, and I will channel his dick. So we are really giving him the <laughs> you're women. Getting fucked by God. You're getting. You're basically getting fucked by God, and we'll see if he likes this offering. Yeah. <laughs> it's always tough play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's not a good episode for me to be wearing my Grateful Dead sweater. <laughs> I forgot you were wearing the Dead sweater. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get some fucking jam base for him being like, this guy's fucking making fun of us. Yeah, shit. <laughs> so they said, um, I don't feel like eating anything, especially uh, the time that I recently underwent 30 hours plus intermittent fast to detoxify, and she wasn't even hungry. Also, I'm having frequent diarrhea. So, <laughs> <laughs> is diarrhea something? <laughs> Yo, was diarrhea on the list? Oh, of, oh uh, no, no, this is your yeah. list. No, no, Danny, it's this. 
It's you running through the festival. Everyone's thing, and you're running through the festival because you got his shit really bad. You go, Star Seed coming through. Star- <laughs> oh, it's moving, moving. Star Seed emergency. My Star Seed emergency. Star Seed emergency. My girlfriend's. Um- also, you know what else? Well, no, what is a uh, diarrhea? Is a symptom of tons of drugs. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Why do I have diarrhea? It's like because you fucking haven't eaten 40, uh, 40 hours and you're blasted on Dude, fucking my, cocaine. My, my girlfriend and her uh, brother, they're really in this van, the Disco Biscuits, and they she, they told me a story that one time on the floor of some show, someone just took a huge shit. Oh, that's a star seed like, move just right there. Right in the middle of the concert, just someone took a fucking just ma- nasty. They just couldn't. They just couldn't hold it, and they took a shit, and then everybody was Do you like, think that they ha- wanted to go to the bathroom, but they just couldn't miss the fucking tune? I, or, he yeah. He was receiving the music Probably, too or hard. it's just one of those things where you go, yeah, I'm shitting right now, and that's yeah. it. That's that. She's like, buddy. It's coming out I would. I want to more, there's nothing I'd love more to go to that urinals, but I'm fucking a vessel for another world to receive. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> <laughs> And they just shit, and then they put. We're playing some. The band started playing some jam, ba- some jam about shitting on the floor, <laughs> shit in the pit. I think was it. Really? Yeah. They started. They made oh, some that's song funny. off the top, shit in the pit, and then they all cleaned it up. But that's it, great. They, they all yeah. cleaned it up. Like oh, like that's some no, like some, some security. No, shit. no 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 no. Security Everybody came. take a scoop. Everybody, <laughs> roll up your sleeves. It's time we got to do this together. We do this together. Oh. Come on, everybody, togetherness. <laughs> and we're cleaning. We're cleaning. We're cleaning. Cleaning. We got shit. In the pit, <laughs> we got that's a, that's a very that's how the songs all sound. Eh? Yeah, yeah, we got shit, shit in the pit. Shit in the pit. That's a very good jam man. That's a, we got we got a good jam man yeah, fucking uh, uh, replica going on. We got shit in the pit. Come on, everybody. We got shit in the pit. Go low now. We got shit in the pit. Everybody now, shit. In the pit, and then everybody starts crapping. Shit. All right. All right, a couple more. Is it disrespectful to call extraterrestrials aliens? We got a bit of a woke star seed. <laughs> I've, so this is the star seed that probably has a problem with the vaccine stuff, right? She's probably been having a bit of a... Tr- yeah, uh, well, they... But the new, her freedom body personality. Her temple. Yeah, but her, exactly. But her freedom personality has probably been... Uh, a little bit of a contrast with her, you know. Let's not let's not be problematic, right? Right. right yeah. I've heard that it's a little disrespectful to call extraterrestrials aliens. Is that true? So that's going on in the Starseed community. A little bit of whisperings. Uh, they're called aliens. Like, what are you? What is this? 1985? <laughs> oh my yeah. god! I've heard um, that is also good because you know most of the time the fables of aliens when they abduct you like. No good comes of that, right? Yeah, it's shit's going up your ass. It's shit's going up your ass every single time, yeah. right? <laughs> we got shit in up the star ass. scene. <laughs> shit, shit the star scene's ass. ass. Shit going up your ass. So Yo they, ass. yes. <laughs> so you're basically getting probed, and you're like, "Please, aliens, I'm, I'm, I'm so <laughs> excuse." Hey, Carl, did you just hear what he called us? No, they they're doing their voice. Oh, you, you, what the, I'm. What did you just call it's me? Like an alien. What did you just call me? <laughs> By the way, best answer. I don't know if you saw this. That is, I'm, I'm so offended right now. Can you believe what I'm dealing with? <laughs> wow. No, he goes, he wow. goes, he goes, wow. In 2020. <laughs> wow. In 2020. No, it's more like, it's like, in 16, 8, 4, oh, yeah, 5, yeah. we wow. still take this abuse. In 4, 5, 9, 9, 6, <laughs> year of, of the year of our jargon. <laughs> By the way, someone answered this question. <laughs> okay, what did they say? They go, some care, some don't. <laughs> if you're interacting with an extra depends what, yeah, It depends if you got like an alien that just went to college or not. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, If they just finished their fucking first year <laughs> of uh, gender <laughs> alien, alien studies. Alien gender, <laughs> gender alien studies. Because if you're interacting with an extraterrestrial, you could try asking for their species name so that if you ask them questions, there isn't any confusion on things. Literally, the. Well, you're getting probed. It's the gender. It's the same thing. You go ask them what their gender is. Yeah, what's your species? Their pronouns. Mm hmm. Species is just oh. pronouns. For so that, there you go. That's very good to know. Yep. Starseeds among us. Sometimes I go to shop or a cafe and it comes to my mind that people who work there could be starseeds that just aren't aware of their journey. So, I mean, this is like walking around and she's sort of having like a fuck, that could be a starseed, that could be a starseed. Like kind of yeah. in those movies, right? Where you're like, I'm not sure who's an alien. Then you see the one guy like, like uh, Independence Black. Day. Yeah, Men in Black. Black yeah. yeah. So that's, she's living her life like, 
Um, that, but you're right. In, in the vegan hippie community, it's probably really easy to pick up girls with like starseed shit. Yeah. For so sure. I recommend any hippie dudes to be a vegan. Hey, uh, you just walk up. I mean, some, it was one of the things on the list. Someone's just eating granola at like some hipster, hippie, hippie cafe and you walk up and you go, starseed? Hi, I'm Ryan. <laughs> How did I know? How did I know? Uh-oh. Let me guess. And you just go, you go to, they go, they don't even know we're from a different galaxy. Yeah, Alpha Centauri uh, 58? <laughs> no, it's yeah. that. You go, you know what's funny? People here don't even know when you're from a different <laughs> galaxy. She goes, how did you know? He goes, hi, I'm Ryan. <laughs> we all know, don't we? Mind yeah. if I sit? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, can hi. I get uh, two chia puddings, please? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> two chia puddings and a matcha latte, thanks. Two chia puddings and a matcha latte. Hi, I'm Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> Name's Daniel. That's my human name. Name Daniel. That's my, my human name. name. But you probably already knew that. Yeah. Uh, he just seems so empathetic, dude. So have you always braided your armpit hair, or is that? <laughs> you know they used to do that on Zargon. You know what? Let's <laughs> yeah, not talk star seed that, business. Yeah, 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 why am yeah, I telling yeah, yeah. you? <laughs> and then the last one I'm gonna do. Amazing. Hello. I wanted to tell you I've been taken to ships by a blonde-haired ET. It was two days ago, and I'm thinking it could be a dream, but it was so real. So some of the star scenes actually think they were abducted. Yeah. So that's a, that's an interesting one at the boom, 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 boom and then boom, boom, you come running back. You go, oh guys, I was just taken by a ship and I was gone for two days. And everyone's like, bro, you were asleep for half dude, an hour. Dude, that was fucking set break. <laughs> dude, you were you were gone for seven minutes, bro. That was one balloon. <laughs> You're gone for seven minutes, bro. Uh, fucking hippies. Yeah. <laughs> well, happy. thank you for watching that clip, supporting the channel. If you like The Boys Cast, there's a new episode every week at patreon.com slash the boys cast. That's patreon.com slash the, the boys, boys cast. cast.